Now I said, one of the things which remains a mystery, right? I, I said in the beginning that positive and negative charges, they attract. And we know that. Negative and negative repel, but positive and negative charges, they attract. When I was doing the scale with this uh, uh, experiment with this scale, one of the things that we saw was, although the scale I rubbed with my hair and made this negatively charged, right? we understand that the scale became negatively charged. I did not do anything with the paper, right? So the bits of paper that were kept there, the scrap paper scraps, right? The small bits. I did not do anything with those. So where did they get their positive charge from? Right? Because we really need positive charge to create that attraction. Where did it come from? Right? That's really a mystery. I mean, you might go ahead and ask uh, uh, your teachers or your friends, but here is one possible answer and that is known as induced charges. Okay, it's not a possible answer, it's a definite answer. The attraction is caused by something known as induction, right? So there is a process of induction and the process of induction is, this is particular process of induction is induced charges, right? We are applying it to charges. So it is a process of inducing charges. And the way it works is this paper clip, this bit of paper, when I bring it close to the scale, right? So scale, I charged it. So this entire surface is negatively charged. We can understand that, right? This entire surface is negatively charged. As soon as I bring this this scale close to the paper, at the very tip of the paper, what would happen? Under understand, right? This negatively charged scale is coming there. There are atoms here. We understand that. There are electrons here. We understand that also, right? At the very tip, there would be electrons. Now, those electrons will feel the repulsion from the plastic this plastic scale, they'll feel repelled. The plastic scale will really push them. So they move a little bit down. And the very tip, because the electrons have moved down, earlier it was neutral, the very tip of this paper. Now electrons have really moved down from here. So the very tip of this paper, it becomes positively charged, very tip of this paper. And this positively charged tip can now feel attracted or get attracted to our negatively charged scale. So that is something which can happen. This is known as induced charges because we are not creating charge, but we are inducing this charge. Here is another experiment which I, I can do to demonstrate a very simple experiment to demonstrate this induction of charges. Notice what is happening here. This is just a aluminum file, very thin piece of aluminum file. I again rub this scale very, very Right, very, very, uh, I would have to work hard, okay? Now I rub this and I bring it close to this. See what is happening. It is expanding, right? It is expanding as I bring the scale close to this piece of foil, these two leaves of foil, they move away from each other. Now this is happening systematically, okay? This is what is happening. And why is it happening? It is happening because of the same reason. As I bring the negatively charged scale close to this two leaves, these two leaves at the very top, they become positively charged because of induction. And these induced positive charges then repel each other because this also becomes positive charge, this also becomes positive charge. And these two now, because they are both positive, they will repel and they move away from each other. So this is what is happening. And of course, one thing that you can understand is because these two positively charged leaves, right, they, they, the positively charged is only there at the bottom, right? That's what we have, that's where we have induced the charge at the very bottom. These two positive charges are repelling away from each other. The more the positive charge, the greater the repulsion. So I can sort of measure how much charge I have on these leaves by measuring the distance between these two leaves, right? I can measure that.